Hello world. Take five. Okay, yes. How does one accidentally become a florist? I have no explanation for you, really. But now laid out in front of me are like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven corsages and the boutonnieres. And that's what's happening. Yep, tour time. This is the first one I made. It's made with erygnium. I always pronounce it erygnium before I learned how to pronounce it like 10 minutes ago from Google. But, and that would be this blue spiky flower in the middle. Um, it has lots of fillers and this one's mostly leaves because this was what I was trying to make to match a dress that I have. It was kind of a peacock color dress. Um, so I wanted to represent that colors and stuff. It didn't, I think it turned out pretty good and I thought it turned out really good at the time. But, it's great. This is the second one I made. Oh, I forgot. I destroyed it a little in take three. Um, it's roses. And I tried to model this one a little bit after the real corsage that I have. That I got from a floral shop for my prom last year. Um, it has roses in it and stuff. So I use that. These two roses are different colors. They're from two different bouquets that I got. I just have many bouquets. Lots of baby's breath. And then uh, some filler just draped over it. And a little bit of spray roses in there. I did accidentally pop one off. And some more of the filler right here. So uh, I had this ribbon, but now I have a lot more ribbon. So later they get a lot of different ribbons. The one thing Walmart is weird about with their flowers is that they all have... Most of them, some of them, they have this pattern on them, and it's kind of drip dyed. It's weird. Here's a petal I tore off. It's interesting. They definitely don't grow like that in the natural wild. The natural wild. <laughs> um, oh, yes, this one. This is a sunflower one. And I did not know this at the time, but sunflowers are very gory flowers. They, uh, underneath this is really thick. That's all just the flower. Uh, I cut off the stem and I cut it as close as I could to the base because I wanted it to lay flat against its little bowl and all the ribbons. And it was, there was a white stuff inside of it. And I'm like, okay, flower gore, that's great. But then I squeezed the flower a little to just try to get it down a bit. And it started bleeding. I'm talking, there was water coming out of it and oozing. And I was like, that's kind of weird. Why is that happening? But it's kind of cool. <laughs> so I was trying to leave enough water in there to make sure that the flowers stay vibrant for a while. Because that's a lot of water stored in there. But also, I didn't want it to uh, reach down to the cardboard base right here and mold it. I didn't want that to happen. So... I was just squeezing this water and it's so weird. I didn't realize that some flowers were like that. They're just gooey. <laughs> but I have blue and white as the colors in here. I had a random purple thing, but I replaced it, replaced it with this little blue bow here. And probably being a little too rough with these, but uh, they're practice, so I want to get rid of them soon. So you just tie it like this. Because I like the tied ribbons. The elastic just doesn't suit me well. Not my style of crafting. But it does look... I'd say it looks pretty nice. I used a reference for this one, but it doesn't look too much like the reference. For one, that reference didn't have blue and, and white ribbon in it. <laughs> um, so, kind of my own take on it. And then these last two are a boutonniere and a corsage that I made for my grandparents because one of them had surgery and one of them was taking care of each other. So I haven't seen them in a while. So this is the boutonniere. Uh, it's got the pins in it. It's got a little bow on the front that I just glued on there. Kind of a folded one. The light is bad. But it's got baby's breath and it's got these orange flowers that have lots of little cupped petals. And then, holy mama, this is the ribbon. This is the corsage. Yes, it has a lot of ribbon and it's polka dot, which is my favorite. Um, I've been trying to use this ribbon for a long time. It's all bunched up. 
uh, and I really fluffed it out, and it was just sitting in my room bucket, so I used that on the front, finally, I've been trying to, and then I made a bowl of leaves to put these two main ones in, and I think this one is my best work yet. Uh, it kind of sucks that my sister got sick, so now I cannot give it to them, but it would look like this on. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> Professionalism. I put it on backwards. This is what it would look like on. And with the matching boutonniere. So, I think I'm well on my way to becoming a florist. Heck yeah. <laughs> Got to be careful with these two, though, because I actually treasure these two. Unlike little ones, these... These last two boutonnieres are a little old. This one is a plain rose. You know what? This one would actually match this a little bit. Well, it doesn't have the right color baby spread. It has blue. But, oh, and this Ariel is dying. <laughs> I've had this one for about a week. No, half a week as well. And I made this one yesterday. And it's still very vibrant, very fresh. It has purple bows on it, and it has this big flower here, and some pillars sticking out all over the place. Um. Yes. Goodbye, world.